Hey, this is Hans from Dakota Angler and Outfitter, and today we're going to tie an articulated streamer, which are becoming more and more popular all the time. Here's a sneak preview, but it's going to be an articulated minnow pattern. And articulated streamers have been getting much more popular in the last couple of years. Um, and now there's a new uh, articulated streamer shank uh, from Flyman Company that makes tying these articulated flies very easy. Here's the shank here. They come in three different lengths. This is the, the medium sized length, uh, which is uh, 35 millimeters long. And it's got this looped um, portion at the back that you can just thread the eye of the, um, the rear hook through and then you'll end up with um, an articulated fly at the end. We'll see how it all goes together here in a second. First I'm going to tie the back end of the fly and I'm just going to tie a basic version of this. It's all open for experimentation but I'm going to start with a stinger hook in the vise. This is a mustad stinger hook and you need to make sure you've got a, a hook that's got a large enough eye for that articulated shank to go through. If you want to uh, use the simplest form of connection with those you want to make sure that you've got plenty of wiggle room in that eye. And this particular mustad hook seems to work quite well. This is a size 2 um, C52S. And essentially for this rear hook I'm just going to tie a wooly bugger. And you can do this in any color pattern. I'm going to do it in white to imitate a minnow. So I'm going to tie in some, some marabou blood quills. Tie those down the length of that shank. And then I'll trim off the excess up here at the front. And I'll take a little bit of silver crystal flash. Six or eight strands or so. And I'll tie some in on the near side of the hook with two or three wraps. And then I'll take the additional fibers and I'll fold them over the hook and then tie those down so they lay alongside the tail on the far side of the hook. Just kind of make a few more wraps on that underbody. Now I will just adjust the camera here a second. There we go. Take a white hackle. A soft hackle is better than one that's real stiff. This one isn't particularly soft, but it's what I had handy here today. Tie that in at the back. And I tied that in tip first. So I just folded the tip back and then trimmed a little tie-in point. And I tied in that at the tip of the feather. So that way as we wrap the hackle forward the fibers will get longer as we go towards the front end of the hook. Next I'll take some pearl estas tie that in get that nice and secure Then I'll bring my thread to the front of the hook Now I'll wrap my estas, and as I wrap that, just lift the preceding wrap with your left thumb and forefinger, just to get the fullness out of the material, so you're not overlapping the wrap so much that you're mashing down the material. Bring that up to the front of the hook, leave ourselves a little room at the front to tie things off. I'll tie that off. Trim off the excess. Now, take my hackle, weave that through the Estas body, get in a few turns, and 
as I get to the front, I'll make one nice full wrap, tie that off. Before I trim it, I'll just fold everything back. Form a little head there. Trim off my excess. And then I will do whip finish. Okay. So there's the back half of the fly. Add a little durability, we'll put a little head cement on those thread wraps just to make sure those don't get roughed up by a fish's teeth too bad. So now, just adjust the camera a slight a bit here. We've got this articulated shank here. And what we'll do is thread that through like so. So there's the articulation point. And then I'll slide that back after I take the other hook out of the vise. And then I can put that shank in the vise. And now, once that's on, I can start my thread on the articulated shank. And then I can close that loop at the back end with thread wraps. Trim off my thread. Grab a little more of that head cement. Just coat those thread wraps that I laid on the hook, sh hook shank first. There we go. Now we essentially tie the same thing all over again. Just on the front half of the fly. I'm going to tie in a little of that silver crystal flash at the back end of the shank here to Kind of cover up that articulation point. I'm going to work it around the hook with my fingers. Tie that down. If you want, you can take a little after fluff from the, the hackle feather that you had. Tie that in as well. And that just gives a little clump of work that around the hook too. That just gives us a little clump of marabou like material that'll also hide that articulation point. So now I'll go ahead and tie in some more Astas. So I have the Astas tied in. I'll tie in another hackle the same way. I got the tail end of the, or the tip end of the hackle feather, fold it over, fold it back, trimmed it down, tie that in, wrap to the front of the shank, fold everything out of the way, wrap that s -Daz, just folding back the preceding wrap to ensure that you're getting the most out of the material. And leave yourself a little bit more room at the front end of the hook here. I'm going to tie on or put on an articula or a, a fish skull head on this just to give it That nice head that those fish skulls give with that nice eye and add a little bit of realism to the streamer. Now I'll just 
work that hackle through as we did on the the back end of the streamer. Get to the front end of the hook. Tie off. And trim off the excess hackle. I'm gonna fold that back. Add some nice tension wraps there. Now at this point, I'll take a few strands of red flashaboo. Don't need many, three or four is plenty. Lay those along the side nearest you, tie those down with a couple of wraps, and then I'll grab them, fold them over so that they're on the far side as well. Trim those up so they're even. And just add a couple more wraps of thread. And I'll throw on a couple half hitches. And I'm gonna add the, the fish skull. Oops. Okay, so now I'll take the fish skull streamer head, which are really fun to tie with. And then slide that on the front of the hook. I slide it on so that the, the rounded part here is facing down. Slide that back. I'll align my flashaboo there. Put a little super glue on the thread wraps there. And then slide that on. Once I've got that in place, put my thread back on and build up a little thread dam so that the cone head can't slide off. It takes a fair amount of thread to build up for that. And I'll trim off the excess thread here. Do a quick whip finish. Trim off the excess. Put on some Head cement on that thread head. Now we need some eyes. The fish skulls come with little adhesive eyes, which for this package I've lost them, so I'm going to add some plastic eyes that I have laying around. I'm going to add some plastic eyes. These come with adhesive eyes. I just lost mine somewhere on my messy fly tying bench. So for the time being, I'm going to glue on some plastic eyes. I'm going to use liquid fusion. I put this on for the uh, cement on the adhesive eyes as well because the adhesive eyes don't have enough stick to stay. Let's stick that right on the socket. Roll that over. Get a little more glue. Put that in the little socket on the fish skull. Make sure that those are where you want them. And let that sit until it dries up. But now what we've got is a minnow pattern 
that's fully articulated. Here's another one I tied. Well, the cool thing is, is the tail is totally free to move as you swing this fly through the water. And so, you know, the possibilities for this are 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 endless. You can make a, you know, a giant woolly bugger type streamer. You can do a minnow pattern like I've done here. But, you know, this kind of takes the guesswork out of um, articulating a big streamer fly. You don't have to um, worry about joining them with wire or braid um, or anything like that. You can you can just use that streamer shank and end up with some pretty cool cool effects. You can just see how that tail moves. So grab some of these, mess around with them, see what you think. There's the streamer there. You can see the articulation. I'm Hans from Dakota Angler and Outfitter in Rapid City, South Dakota. Check this video out and others at flyfishsd.com and you can also buy the materials to tie this fly and others at flyfishsd.com. Thanks for watching.